There's now a super simple and easy to set up way to reset all the slicers on your report by pressing just one button. There's also a way to select multiple slicers and then push a button and have those slicers applied to your report. So watch this video to find out how to set this up. Okay, so with the current functionality, what you do when you select a slicer is you select a slicer and as soon as you select that slicer, the query starts to run to go and refresh the screen and then you select the next slicer and, and so on. However, there's a new button that allows you to select multiple slicers and then press a button to apply all the slicers on at once, basically to try and speed up the application of that query. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset all of these. Okay, so the new functionality is, is a button. So if we go to insert, and then we go to buttons, we can see there's two new buttons here. There's apply all slicers and there's this one here, clear all slicers. So if I add that one in, and it adds a button into the um, onto the screen here. So apply all slicers. So the button itself is it's grayed out, so it's disabled essentially. There's two states for this button. There's the hover state as well, but there's two two states. There's a default state and there's the disabled state. So at the moment it's disabled. Now as soon as I select one of these, for example maintenance, we can see it, it changes to its state which is the the default state so if i go in and also select the priority so nothing's changed here yet and then if we go and select a work type let's just say this okay so i'm looking for maintenance priority one breakdown and then i press this button here and it applies all of these slicers to your visual using one query rather than the three queries. So it should in theory speed up the the user experience and make it easy for them to actually apply multiple slicers. So that's the first one. The second button that we've got here, if we go into button, is this one here, clear all slicers. So again, that's gonna add another button here. So I'll just put this at this side here. And what that does is it's going to allow you to go and clear all of these slicers by pressing just this button here. So we can see these have all been set back to their default value and all of the slicers values have been removed. So that's um, a really good bit of functionality, particularly this one here to clear all slicers. I've made a few videos about this in the past using bookmarks and other, other sort of kind of workarounds really, but now it's built into Power BI as core functionality. So the one slice, the one button to clear all the slicers. Now, these buttons here are quite big, and in the next part of this video, I'm going to go through replacing this these buttons here with some icons. Okay, so let's start with the clear those slicers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this text here with an icon, and I'm going to make it as close as possible to the icon that you see in these filters here. So at the side of the page, if I select one of these, we can see we've got this little eraser here. So I'm going to select something that's going to look like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and we've got these buttons here. I'm going to go to style and we've got the different states here. Now the only state that seems to work for this is the default state. It doesn't seem to, um, to go to a disabled state if there are no filters or slicers selected like there is here. So it just has a default state for just now. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's the, the standard and how it's actually by design. However, what I'm going to do is I am going to switch off the text and I'm going to go to icon and I'm going to switch that on. And the type of icon, now at the moment it's, it's we've got this icon here to clear all slicers. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use that icon there because that's the one that looks exactly like, or, or very similar to the one that's in here. Now I want to change that line color to white and I'm going to reduce the size of that. Now the reason I've done that is because I want to then go to fill and I'm going to fill it with this blue color here. Okay, now the transparency is default to 50% so I want it to be 0% and I'm going to make that slightly smaller and just move that just over here. I'm going to just position it so that the actual icon itself is just at the the side here. 
Okay, so that's that one there, and I think everything else is pretty much the same. This action here, now you can actually apply this action to, to any button, um, as we can see here, and it's along with, with all the other stuff like drill throughs and um, bookmarks and page navigation, etc. So here it is here. So that's the first one I'm going to do. I'm going to just leave that as a white icon here. Let's click off it and just make sure that there's no border here. There's something here, so let's just have a look at this. Background, I'm going to switch the background off. There we go. Okay, so let's go and select this and just see if it works. I've got maintenance. I'm going to apply that slicer and then I'm going to press this button here and it's reset. Okay, so that's nice and simple. A lot less intrusive and most people know that this is the case. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tooltip here. So I'm going to go to the button. I'm going to go under action and here's the tooltip at the bottom here. And in here, I'm just going to add some text. Okay, so if I hover above here now, click to reset slicers. Okay, so now let's look at the apply to all slicers. Now I'm going to move it across to here. And what I want to do with this is I only want to show this when there are slicers selected. Otherwise, I just want it to be, to be blank. Okay, so if I go in here, there's two states here that this can be in, this button can be in. There's a disabled state, which is the current state is in at, at the moment, which is activated when no slicers are selected. Or there is the default state. There's also these other ones here, but we're just going to focus on these ones. Okay, and there's also the default state. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the disabled state. And I want it to be completely invisible. Okay, now what I can't do here, these states here can't be, you can't set the text on and off. Okay, if I set it off, it's off for both states. If I set it on, it's on for both states. But what we can do is we can change the color here to be the color of the background there. Okay, so I'll do that with the text and I'll do this with the fill. I'm going to switch this on and I'll do that with the fill as well. And I think that should be it. Okay, there's a I think there's a background here as well. Let's just double check here. Yeah, there's a background that's white. You can see that just coming through. Okay, so there's nothing there at the moment. Um, now, when there is a filter selected, so let's go and select one. Okay, we can see that there's another state here, apply all slicers. So let's go in to our button again, and I'm going to change this state here to be the default state, which is this state here. So we can see this text is um, that grey colour. Um, let's go down, we can see the fill is 50% transparency. So that's why it's blue, because the dark blue is coming through. And um, with this white and 50% transparency, it's got like a light blue colour. Now, what I want to do with this is I want to make it more obvious that it's a button. Okay, so I'm going to go into the shape first of all, and I'm going to change the shape up here, yeah. Um, and I'm going to change the shape here to be a rounded rectangle. Okay. And then I'm going to change the, the size of this font here. This default is going to be a bit smaller. Okay. And I'm going to align it to the left hand side here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text here and I'm going to make it slightly darker. And then I'm going to go and I'm actually going to add in an icon. Now the apply all filters icon is, is actually quite complicated. So I'm going to actually change it to something else. So to do that, I'm going to go to icon type and I'm going to custom. And it's going to let me browse for an icon and I am going to select a filter icon. Okay, you can see it's, it's a little bit small here, but it's, I'll just make it a little bit bigger for just now. Okay, so we can see we've got a filter icon. Now the text is, is actually over the icon, so let's sort that out. So we're gonna to go to, the, click on a button, go to style, and we can see the text here. Now what you can do with that text is we've aligned it to the left, it's center, it's centered in terms of the vertical alignment, but I'm going to put this padding in here 
to 20. Okay, I'll make it bigger. So what that's going to do is it's going to move that across. And I'm also going to get rid of this alt and just say apply slicers. And um, we'll just keep on making it a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to make that bold. And down here under icon, I've got the custom icon. I'm happy enough with where that's sitting. I might just, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for just now. But what I'm going to do is this auto size. I'm actually going to make that, I'm going to actually tell, set that as a, an actual size there. I think that is just fine there. Okay, now I'm going to play a little bit with this. Here, there we go. Okay, so that's the first one there. Apply slicers. Now, what I'll, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color. So let's minimize this. And let's go back into style and we'll go to fill. And I'm going to change it to this yellow color here, which is kind of like a, a color that you would get with the Power BI logo. Okay, and I'm going to paint the transparency zero. So here we can see apply slicers. Now th this should, in theory, if I just make this a little bit smaller, here we go, and just make it roughly the same size as these. Okay, so if I go now and apply the slicer, which is priority one, It'll apply that slicer and then it will disappear. Now, what I've done here is we can see that icon is still shown there. So I need to go and replace this black icon with a blue icon. Okay, so now we can see there's no icon displayed there. Now, if I go back in here again and select a further filter, we can see there's a new filter to be applied. So we've got this apply slicer. And then once it's been applied, okay, that's been applied. So that's disappeared again now. Okay, so hopefully you have got some ideas here about how to apply the clear all slicers button and also the apply all slicers button. There's a little bit um, a little bit more of a, a user friendly experience than just slapping a button on and using the default values. So if you found this useful, then it's always appreciated if you could give the video a like. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos I release, I tend to release one every week or every, every 10 days, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I publish a new video. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you in the next video.